Hey guys, it's Dave from All That Says. How's it going? I am here today at a high school that I went to for about a year and a half. All of my senior year, half my freshman year. It's Ontario High School. That used to be the administration building, but I guess it's somewhere else now. That's the main gates everybody went through. If you rode the bus, you went to a different area. But yeah, this is where I actually met Mrs. Wombat. Thanks. That was the best thing about school. I did okay in school. It was always super easy. I never did any homework and I still got like A's and B's. Not bragging, just saying, you know, when you got that ADHD, your mind does weird things. But anyways, it changes around a bit. Let's see if you can see this thing's locked so I can't get in here, but my camera can. But see, that's all nice and grassy there. That didn't used to be like that before. That used to be all cement and where those shade things were. That was all cement too. And the kids would just stand up there and bake. Where they'd stand underneath those buildings to try to keep cool. There was a band department. I always wanted to be in band. Mrs. Wombat was in band, but I never made it. This cafeteria, those little skinny windows way over there. Student store right next to it where you get all the necessary supplies, pens, pencils, uh, PE uniforms, letters for your letterman jacket, all that stuff. They had the best chocolate chip cookies there. And I'm sure you probably remember, I think all the schools had those really big chocolate chip cookies, like about eight inches in diameter that were really soft, like just came out of the oven. But they were really good. They changed the looks of it a little bit. Let me sneak out of here. Don't want to get in trouble. And actually, this is Wombat. Through a friend, my friend Eric, I talked about in the Lucky Charms video. And all of us were taking an ROP class, it's a regional occupational program. And it's basically the idea was give kids the skills they need to learn to get a job. I was so happy because we worked at the local mall. Jen worked at, that's Mrs. Wombat, in case you guys are wondering. She worked at JCPenney's for a little bit, didn't like it, so she went to another store. I get to go to the coolest store ever, Pedrini's Music Store. They're not there anymore. It was in the Montclair Mall, which is a few miles from here. But um, I get to work in the music store. My friend Eric was mad. He was like beyond mad. He wanted so much to be the guy in the music store. But I don't know. It was my charming personality or what it was. But anyways, I made it there. There used to be a wall. Yeah, it was like over here somewhere. These trees were a lot smaller, but then again, that was 30, about 32 years ago. That's scary when I think about it. But these trees were a lot smaller. There used to be a wall over here, and it used to say Ontario High School, home of the Jaguars, like that sign does there. And I used to flirt with Mrs. Wombat. There's these little pine cone things on there. We could find them there. You could use, usually you could grab them. They're real, they're like real low. This branch right here, I remember this branch when I could reach up and grab it. And I'm only 5'6, I'm not that tall guy, but I could reach up with like no problem at all. And so I'd throw these little pine cones at her, just you know, things kids do when they flirt with each other. But she, man, she was cute. She still is very, very beautiful. And at first, at first I thought my friend Eric liked her. They were in math together, and they'd known each other for a while, but they, they just knew each other as, like, kind of friends. People, you know, people who are in the same class kind of say, oh, yeah, I know you from such and such. But, you know, I had that going for me. My friend knew this girl. I was like, oh, she's really cute. But, I, like, again, they were talking. I thought my friend Eric liked her. So I kind of backed off to be the cool friend. I just kind of backed off. And she always tried to, like, walk next to me, ask me stuff, and then he'd get in between us and stuff. It seemed like he was jealous of her getting a bad friendship or something. I, I don't really know. But I asked him, I go, I go, dude, do you like her? He's like, no. I go, oh, dude. He goes, you like her? I go, yeah. And he's like, he's like, wow, you should go for it.
in the meantime, she had written me a note saying that she thought I was cool and everything. And I found out years later that she was always kind of checking me out. She thought I was cute. When I, when I had more hair than I have now, I used to have... what they call a crop. Not a mullet, but a crop. My hair was like all one length, not real long in the back. It was all one length, a little bit about down to my shoulders at the time. I grew out a little bit before I cut it to get a job. But I had a crop. That means the top of my hair was, was spiked up. And it was spiked up a lot. Rather than just individual hair sticking up, it was like a whole thing. She said, I kind of looked cool, but I looked like a skinny little chicken at the same time. So I guess she found that enduring. So whatever, you know. I'm glad she liked it because we've been together almost 32 years now. Just a couple more, about three more months. Yeah, two more months actually. Two more. I gotta do the math. It's July. I'm getting old. I am going to be 50 very very soon. The big 5-0. 40 came, I was kind of bummed. It seemed like around 39 to 41, I kind of slipped into like a weird kind of funk thing. Not like funk on my face, but just kind of like, you know, just like mild depression, black cloud hanging over your head, even though things were going good, kind of. Um, but yeah, things have been going good. 50's kind of scary, I'm not sure what to expect. I wasn't expecting to get something from AARP, but I did get that in the mail. So I guess they're trying to tell me, you're old, dude, which I already know. But like I tell all my friends, you're only as old as you act. So with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace.